It Takes a Village by Jane Cohen Fletcher. For Brad and Sojourner Hope. The sun was just beginning to climb into the sky, but the villagers had been up for hours. It was market day. Yemi, Mama said, you must take care of your little brother today while we're at the market. I will be too busy selling our mangoes. Come, Cuckoo, Koku, Yemi said. I will watch you today all by myself. All by yourself, Mama asked and smiled at what Yemi said. Mama knew better. Mama picked up their mangoes. Yemi picked up Koku. She felt very grown up as she walked out of the family compound beside Mama. They joined the stream of people walking into the village. People came from all around to sell their goods and buy whatever they needed. Market day was also a time for visiting. The greeting started the moment they stepped on the paths into town. Hello, how are you? How is your family? Yemi helped Mama set out their mangoes. One of the other fruit vendors said, Yemi is a big girl now. She is a lot of help to you. Yes, Mama said. She is going to watch Koku for me today. All by myself, Yemi added. All by yourself? Yay, guy! The woman marveled. They smiled and nodded, but they knew better, too. When the mangoes were all in neat piles, Yemi asked if she and Koku could take a look around the market. Mama said, yes, but don't be gone too long. Yemi had not walked very far when Koku became restless. He must be hungry, she said. She set him down for just one minute so she could buy some peanuts. And Koku wandered off. Cho! Yemi cried when she turned around and discovered Koku was gone. She put the peanuts in her pocket and she hurried off to find him. Where could he have gone, she said. As Yemi searched for him, she began to worry. Koku must be hungry. But he was not. What is he doing? Someone is feeding him. Koku must be thirsty. But he was not. What is he doing? Someone must have given him water because he's drinking. Koku must be frightened. But he was not. What is he doing? Oh, he's helping or just watching maybe while someone paints their pots. Koku must be hot. But he was not. What is he doing now? Someone is splashing him in the water. To cool him down. Koku must be tired. But he was not. Now what's he doing? He's taking a nap. Finally, after searching for him everywhere, Yemi stopped and cried aloud, Koku must be lost. But he was not. Just across the path from where Yemi stood, Koku was waking up. Is this your Koku? The mat ben vendor asked. Yes, exclaimed Yemi as she scooped up her brother. Thank you so much for taking care of him, Yemi said to the mat vendor. Oh, he chuckled. I was not the only one. He pointed to where Koku had come from. Yemi thanked him again and headed off in that direction. She said, thank you. And again, and again, and again. We've been gone a long time, Koku, Yemi said. Mama must be worried. But she was not. 
Mama knew better. As my mama told me, her mother told her, I will tell you. You weren't alone today, Yemi. We don't raise our children by ourselves. It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to raise a child. African proverb. Uh, I really like this book. This talks a little bit more about the market and how it, very different it is from the supermarkets and shopping centers that I'm used to in uh, New York City, where I live. Um, although there are some markets that feel a bit more like this in the city, surprisingly. Um, <laughs> just uh, uh, one little note, not everywhere has such quite as friendly um, villages full of people that you know that can help out. So uh, do hold on to your little brother when you're out with them, but, um, but remember that your parents are part of a much larger community and um, you can ask your parents who are your safe people that can help you when you are in need for a little help from the village. Anyway, that was It Takes a Village by Jane Cohen Fletcher. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, lessons, and videos in general. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out new ones. And I am Ian. If you want to support the authors, you can buy the, hopefully there'll be a, a link to buy the video, uh, the book in the video description. If you want to support my channel, which I don't make any money from, you can click the Patreon link in the video description. Thank you.